Hi heathens! So for this video, as you can tell, we are doing the November 2020 Ipsy Glam Bag regular unbagging. I have on a little bit of makeup. Uh, my eyeshadow has seen better hours, um, but I'm filming a lot later than I normally do. It's only 8.15, which isn't late, but considering I like to film before 6 o'clock, it's late. So my eyeshadow has been on for much too long. I have on the smallest amount of highlighter and the smallest amount of mascara. So we will react accordingly based on what comes in this because the only thing I know is my choice item. So without further ado, we're going to get on in. Anyone who does not know, Ipsy is a $12 a month now, uh, monthly beauty subscription. It comes with a bag and usually four to six items inside. Sometimes you get full size items, but they are typically deluxe and or trial size items. So I do see something outside of the Ipsy bag. So we're going to grab that with the bag and make sure that is it. Yes. Okay. So the item outside the bag. Oh, it smells. The bag's really cute. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all real cute but um it smells very heavily of plastic there's a specific memory coming to mind and i can't put my finger on it anyway outside of the bag is the motd a perfect tin brush so it's got one of these nice like nets to keep everything together Ooh, this looks like a nice like powder brush. Oh, it's nice and dense. Oh, that's really nice. I don't know if I'd use this more for like bronzer or blush when I use it or if I'd actually use it to like pat in powder. My powder brush is a... Uh, I must have it in the bathroom for cleaning. No, I see the handle sticking out. Is this, which is much more... Oh, some powder came out of it. It's much fluffier and a little more... Not flimsy, just less dense than this, but it's really soft. Okay, so now to get into the bag, we have this nice little peach zip pull. Is there a card in here? There is. And just like the Glam Bag Plus, this month's theme is Be Present. Are there items in here? There are! Okay, that's so exciting. <laughs> there haven't been recently. Okay, so of course we have that on the outside. Then we have the item that I picked, which is the Tatcha the Deep Cleanse. It's a clarifying Japanese luff of fruit extract for normal to oily skin. Directions, apply to wet face, avoiding eyes and rinse. I just wanted to make sure this wasn't what I was smelling. So I'm really excited. Oh God. It just like spurted out of there. Oh, it smells good. So I don't know if the pressure has just been built up in this somehow really bad, but I don't know if it caught. As soon as I opened it, it just went. I'm just going to put that on the back of my hand. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it definitely has something in it, which would make sense for a deep cleanse um, because it's like an exfoliator, It's it feels like. I guess that's the Luffa Fruit Extract, and you're supposed to, supposed to apply it to wet skin, obviously, but I just kind of wanted to feel the texture. It smells so nice. All right. Next, we have a First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. It is safe for sensitive skin. Holding this up, it looks like it's only full to like here. Please don't explode on me too. Okay, this one does not have a safety seal. My hand feel, or smells really nice, but it feels sticky. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my finger. And we're going to rub that over the sticky part of the back of my hand. Oh, it feels so nice. I have, I don't believe it was the exact same one. 
because this is the Ultra Repair. I have a face moisturizer from them that feels so good. Okay, heads up. If you get this, don't try it without the water because now my finger is also very sticky. I need to wash my hands. Next, we have an Ico Rockout and Lash Out Mascara in Beatnik Black. So, while I'm not going to open and try this one yet, I have another one by Ico, which is the Beach Waterproof Mascara, and this is amazing. It's got a really, really nice wand. I really enjoy this. So, I'm going to say overall, I've enjoyed their mascaras because there was another one I tried that I've already tossed. Um, so, I don't know why I looked over there like it was still going to be in my trash can. Uh, last but not least, this is what I'm smelling. And so, I'm hoping that it hasn't opened. This is by Context. It is a nail lacquer in the shade The Morning After. Oh, yeah. I don't know why it smells like that. But uh, I don't know if that means it's going to be black or if the label for all of them is just black. Oh, good God. Just opening the box. If you are sensitive to the smell of nail polish, I hope you do not get this. And it's not even open. Oh, it's like a nice... I can't tell if it's navy or purple. Obviously, I have nail polish on right now, but... Let's see. I'm going to open the card, because we know what all's in here now, and put it across the top. Oh, that's really pretty. It's obviously a little smear of color up there. So really really pretty like a gorgeous deep deep blue now we're gonna close it and we're gonna let it set out to air out and hopefully lose the ridiculously strong smell surrounding it okay so the Ico mascara full size retails for $26 and this is a deluxe sample size the Tatcha the deep cleanse uh, full size which is 150 mil, this is 25, retails for $38. Uh, the Perfect 10 Tapered Face Brush, it says that it, mm, super versatile makeup brush multitasks almost as well as you do. The tapered tip makes it easy to buff your powder foundation all over, blend your blush and bronzer into the cheeks, and apply your contour and highlight powders along the cheekbones. Interesting, that's huge for highlighter. Wouldn't have thought of doing that. Uh, this is $22. That's an expensive brush. The nail lacquer is $15 and that is full size. So this and the nail lacquer are full size. So with either one of them alone, it's the price of the bag and then some. And then the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer retails for $34 full size. The full size is 6 ounce. And this is 0.34. So the full size is pretty significantly bigger. And I'm going to try, since there wasn't a whole lot to try on, I am going to try to use that brush for highlight because you can never have too much highlight. Right? Right? Or is that just me? Okay. So I'm going to go with the same palette I've been using. I'm sorry. It's just what's right in front of me. I'm going to switch it up next time, I promise. So this is the Majesty palette from AOA Studio, and I'm just going to tap into that top, middle, like, champagne shade, and we're just going to sweep that across the cheeks. I've had the dumb swoop de poop de song stuck in my head now um, by Kanye for like 10 minutes, like before filming, and it's still there. Yeah, I mean, it definitely deposits down further than I normally would, but it's nice. It disperses it well, kind of blends it out pretty well. I think I'm going to stick to using it for, like, blush or bronzer. It's so soft, though. 
Well, that is my November regular glam bag. Let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more of my content. Don't forget to let me know what you got down below. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Maybe.